Hi, I'm Anastasia from kindearth.net and today in my kitchen I'm making a delicious squash soup using this crown prince squash, which is one of the tastiest squashes that I can possibly imagine. A wonderful friend gifted me a couple of these recently and I thought I'd turn them into something delicious. So I'm using the addition of fresh ginger and creamed coconut. So let's go see exactly how easy this is to make. So you do need a bit of a sharp, heavy knife for this job. If you're gonna use one of the larger squashes and you can use any squash that you have available, but if you can get Crown Print squash, I do recommend that you use it. Now, the other day when I cut this in half for the first time, I do admit that I had a bit of an Excalibur moment where I stuck the knife in, pushed down, and I, and I couldn't get it out. Um, so you do have to take care or get someone to help you with that. If you do struggle with the strength, a little bit then just use smaller squashes and you'll make an equally delicious soup all right so you just want to chop it the best you can and what we're going to do to start with is we're going to roast it in the oven so just get in there and chop it up into chunks and it might be easier if you chop it at different angles and watch those fingers. Now, some people do say that you can roast the seeds and eat the seeds. Some people eat them with the husks on, some people pop them off. That is entirely up to you. So you basically want to get it into nice chunks and if you want to chop them down a bit too, just to make it cook faster, you can. And then you just want to pop it into a baking dish and then pop on a lid. I just use uh, another oven tray and then pop that into the oven. And then you want to cook that until you can easily pierce a fork through it. That depends how hot you put your oven. It could take half an hour, it could take an hour. And it's good to do that while you've got something else going on. Okay, so I've got the squash out of the oven now, you can easily pierce it with a fork, some bits more easily than others. So I'm just gonna put that to the side just to cool down a little bit before I take the skin off. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take about an inch cubed of ginger and I'm gonna grate that into my pan. You want a big sort of pan. And then I'm gonna use a super fine grater to do that. And then I'm going to add about a heaped teaspoon of sea salt, a heaped tablespoon of ground coriander, and a nice big twist of black pepper. So I'm also going to use one whole block, 200 grams of creamed coconut. You can get this in any good health food store or supermarket in the UK. You can get it in health food stores in Europe. You can also get it in health food stores in North America or online. It just imparts an incredibly delicious infusion of flavor. So you want to crack the packet open. And then approximately chop it into bits. Now that's going to melt upon heating. And then you want to add that to the pan. Along with about one litre or four cups of water. This is filtered with my Berkey filter. And then as the squash cools down, what you want to do is take the hard skin off and take out any seeds and then put the squash into the soup, minus the skin and seeds. So I cooked it for about 10 minutes just to let those flavors dance. And then I took a hand blender and blended it until it was creamy smooth. So it's absolutely divinely delicious. 
and I know exactly what I'm gonna enjoy. Mm. Oh. That is so good. Thank you for tuning in. Please do come and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date with the latest happenings and recipes. Come visit my website, kindearth.net, for all the latest and events, retreats, recipes, and articles about heart-centered living and well-being. I look forward to hearing how you get on, and please feel free to comment. Bye for now.